In this video, we're going to take a quick look at five tips for CNC machining. Number one, keep the workplace clean. So the important thing here is to keep the workspace, the area where you're actually doing the machining, free from swarf, from dust, from wood chips, so that you can set everything up and make sure you've got nothing that's offsetting or putting off your set your setup. Number two is to use a datum. And we can see here and here are the datums that I use. So that's the X and the Y position. Tip number three is making sure that you use a known coordinate so that when you set zero, zero on the machine, so the machine has its own zero, zero, the point where those two datums cross, so that corner is a point that you can find very easily. This is my Octoprint screen. And you can see right here, I can home X and Y. Then I can move it to that known datum. That's the two sides. The X is 60.425 up. And the Y is 78.625. Then I set X and Y zero right there. And I can always get that position once I set it. I can always get that position with that button there. And number four is using a touch plate. I always use a touch plate so that I can have the Z axis at a known height and in this case I'm actually doing it from the, the surface of the table of course I know the thickness of that touch plate this is perfect if you have to do a tool change you can quickly change over the tool and then set the height and you're back at a known height obviously I'm doing this from the table height at the moment but a lot of times I'll do it from the part thickness so I'll have the part in there put this on top of the part and then I know where the top of the part is um, I would use this particular setup if I wanted to cut right through the parts. I'm going all the way down to the bottom, down to the spoil board. Number five, use the right clamps. Make sure you're using the right clamps. You can see my clamps in the foreground here. And I have a whole video on clamps, so you can take a look at that and you'll see where, what I do for clamping. I thought I'd throw a six in there. Select the right cutters. Make sure you've got the cutters that work well on wood. These um, two flute cutters, Spinning at 3000 RPM is a good thing to have. Number seven, use a jog app. I call it a jog app. Mine is um, Octo Remote and it allows me to jog the head, the uh, router around while I'm holding my phone. I use this from my phone, obviously it's a phone app. So I can home the, the part, I can move left, right, different uh, amounts and it all works out well. And of course I couldn't stop at five so Eight is to know your limits. Make sure that you understand what the machine can do and don't try and push it too hard because that can cause you some serious grief. Number nine is a reasonable expectation of accuracy. Nothing is perfectly accurate. Uh, you will get some good repeatability and you will be able to make things fairly accurately, but don't expect them to be perfect. And then number 10, do some test cutting. You can use a piece of foam. You can use a piece of scrap wood and you can cut some things up just to see how it works. Um, you can certainly, if you're, if you're practicing with some tool paths, do it first on a test cut and see how it works. Remember that the whole point of the CNC is it's repeatable, so you can do it multiple times. You can do it once on a rough piece. If that works out, you can certainly do it on the final piece. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, turned out to be 10 tips but I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's useful for people who are just getting into the CNC stuff or trying to improve the way that they do their CNC work leave me a comment below and let me know if it's something that you enjoyed and I'll be more than happy to make some others thanks